going on? Eric Foster here from Brewer Media Group and Power 94 with the mayor. Once again, he is uh, back in to let us know what the update is with the city. A lot of things have been going on. Yep. Um, one of the, the, on the top of the mind is the lookouts. It's yeah. just so much that's going on with that. Where are we with the, uh, with the movie? Man, trying to land the plane. I mean, it's a big <laughs> right. project and uh, it's important. I think it's important not only to keep the lookouts. We don't want to lose the lookouts, right? Of if, we, if, we, if, we don't, if they don't get a uh, stadium that meets Major League Baseball standards, then we will lose them. They'll leave and we won't have a minor league baseball team here, and that's just a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not just about the stadium, right? It's about that entire development district right. that you see coming around, with, like you're coming in from Nashville, right. which right now is just a big rusted uh, wasteland, and that thing can be transformed into something beautiful. If you've ever been down to a Braves game, seen the battery, oh, it's, it's going to yeah. be like that. And yeah. so, and that will create tremendous amount of opportunity for residents of the South Side. Mm -hmm. And we hadn't had economic opportunity like that down there in my lifetime. Right. Uh, I, I don't know when the last time was, since certainly since the foundry closed. That's mm -hmm. been years ago. So it's an important project. Um, again, a lot of debate around this and a lot of misinformation. So I would encourage uh, everybody to get informed. Uh, municipal finance doesn't work exactly like, you know, household finance. But the point is, uh, this is not going to fall to the to a taxpayer in, you know, uh, uh, Glenwood or East Brainerd or anywhere else. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. financed by the increase in value and property value taxes in that district. Right. Right. So it's paid for by the development in the district. And uh, that's the main thing people need to know. And, and uh, it's, it's going to be a huge and important project. And it seems like the area is prime for that. Uh, oh, it uh, is. Apartments are going up. Yeah. Uh, new food, restaurants, and the whole nine. It's, it's, uh, it's coming in. So well, and, and let me, I don't know, the whole segment doesn't need to be about this, but um, I've heard some concerns that somehow we are like you know handing the keys to developers and compromising our ideals around my one Chattanooga plan, around yeah. affordable housing, uh, around minority entrepreneurship. That is not the case at all. Mm -hmm. Legally, in the state of Tennessee, we can't be party to what they call a community benefits agreement. Mm -hmm. um, the city can't, but but one is happening, and we've never had one of those before. And whatever they come up with between the community and and the ball team will be fine. But but the city is not going to back up on. A, on our commitments around those okay. things. So, I mean, it's going to be a great project for the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, also, there was an announcement about, uh, we were talking about uh, the storms that happened in Nashville, mm -hmm. and there was this whole pothole yeah. fiasco. We are doing what we need to do. We were yeah. just talking about the uh, the paving on South Holtz Close, uh, so we are making sure yeah. that our infrastructure is okay. Well, s slowly but surely, right? Yeah. I mean, again, I've said this before in here, but you know, we have doubled the pavement budget. It's $10 million now. Mm -hmm. Inflation has definitely affected that, made it a little tougher to stretch $10 million, but this is the first big paving project of the year. I hear about it from residents all the time. I drive it all the time, but yeah. I want to say it's between 23rd Street and Bailey. Uh, and it's going from four lanes down to three with a turn lane, which I mm -hmm. think is going to be better. It's going to reduce accidents. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we're, we're cranking along. Okay. Chattanooga is a beautiful, uh, has beautiful older homes and neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. We were talking about a $56 million remediation for properties in those areas. This lead is, paint and the whole nine. So that's going to take a little while. Well, it's not lead paint now. It's what it's it, the EPA. EPA's been out there a long time. Thanks to the Biden administration, we got 56 additional million dollars okay. to do this. And everybody needs to know, if you get a knock on your door, you know, these are not guys trying to scam you around this. The EPA is paying for this. They will test your soil, mm -hmm. and if they find trace amounts of lead in it, I mean, you'd have to go out there and eat a cereal bowl full of dirt, which I don't think many people are going to do. I mean, we worry about children in order to get sick from this. But it is contaminated soil, and a lot of okay. homes, like in Highland Park and the South Side, uh, uh, our older areas where they use foundry sand to, to fill uh, dirt, they uh, will dig all that out. The uh, EPA will dig all that out, put back brand new soil, give you new landscaping, mm -hmm. um, and no cost to you. Okay. So it's going to improve the value of your property. Um, it's it's a it's a great thing, and and that fifty six million dollars is going to is going to also create some new jobs in the neighborhood. So so we're really excited. And we're grateful um, to the Biden administration for that for that infusion and investment in Chattanooga. Can you give us an update on the uh, EPB and Oak Ridge National Lab announced? Well, last, uh, I mean that's some kind of propeller head stuff, you know. But but it is <laughs> it's happening. I mean again, I, if you can explain quantum to me, I would appreciate it. I can't explain it to you, but I mean. 
this is the future of computing, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a big announcement because we've got a partnership now with Oak Ridge National Labs up the road, which is closer to Knoxville than Chattanooga, but this is going to be a great partnership that the Department of Energy was doing mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, it means that we're going to have some great economic uh, development opportunities here um, in Chattanooga for our future. Okay. People, if you are interested in what's going on, how one Chattanooga is still moving forward, can they go to a website? Yeah, well, mayor.chattanooga.gov. If you, you can go there, you can you can see what we're up to. You can also sign up for our newsletter, which has been, uh, yeah. I get people telling me how great that is all the time, thanks to my comm staff, my fantastic comm staff. So mayor.chattanooga.gov. Yeah, there we go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Thank you.